Hi Pisces. This is going to be your love reading. These are messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. So let's see. What's going on with Pisces? Oh my gosh, right away the devil. Capricorn energy, nine of wands. Okay. What a strange situation. We got the devil and we've got the four of cups. We also have the Ten of Cups as how they feel about you. So, this person is definitely, there is love here. Some of you could be a family already, you know, with them. But this is the ultimate card for emotions, like overflowing. Definitely they feel fulfilled in this relationship. However, they might be turning something down, turning down an offer with this four of cups the energy between you guys is the nine of cups so there is a lot of fulfillment here in this connection both of you know this i just don't know why the devil is here okay it seems like some of you might be really attached to the person there could be some codependency here. I see you with the, with the Nine of Wands kind of um, bracing yourself. I feel like some of you, this could be a new connection where you know that you're about to fall in love, okay? And you're like, not this again, you know? But um, if you're with your person, you've been with them for a while, this does seem to be some codependency here. You're seeing them as the Knight of Wands. They're seeing you, and they're seeing you as the Eight of Wands. So you might have reached out to them quite a bit. Some of you, not everybody. We have Judgment here blocking, right? So some of you might fear um, what they think of you or you know, what they think of you reaching out, how they view you. Outcome is the Four of Wands, which is really good, the Fool. So I see regardless of what's going on here, that there is going to be connecting with this person, remaining stable in this relationship. I just see that somebody is a little bit like attached like too attached and kind of fears what the other person would think let me see let me clarify and see ten of cups ten of cups let's see the fool is here twice Someone is taking a risk, though they fear rejection, okay? So it could be them taking a risk coming towards you and you feeling like you might reject them or they could be feeling like you took a risk coming towards them. I see with the Six of Pentacles they may feel that you have been giving other people attention especially with the five of pentacles because it's like there's them and then there's you giving someone else attention kind of ignoring them so they could feel a little bit left out and rejected and that could be why the four of cups is here so it's either they they've done that to you or you're doing it to them four of cups oops 
four of cups and the devil again wow and death Scorpio and Capricorn energy and the star Aquarius okay there is somebody who is very clingy you know very possessive very attached in this connection this reading is confusing me I don't know it's gonna become clear soon but I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm not confused um, because I'm seeing with this devil it's like somebody has some kind of codependency issues fear of rejection maybe they push you away before you could push them away or it's vice versa it could be Scorpio I do see it being a Scorpio for some of you because you know there is that possessive nature the nine of wands the Hierophant four of pentacles okay so I do see you being the person who is holding back protecting yourself king of wands there's a lot of passion it's a passionate connection Aries Leo Sagittarius energy is here Taurus as well Cancer as well it could be you who's possessive maybe I'm still confused but it's coming someone is possessive someone is afraid of losing the other person the devil why is the devil here more give me more <laughs> page sorry king of pentacles eight of pentacles eight of wands if you guys are married um, someone's very protective and attached to the marriage does not want to let go of that that which they've built okay it could be you it could be them you know there's something that this person someone is very proud of and works really hard on and they're very possessive and protective over this and there's someone who might be reaching out a lot so some of you could have been texting them double double texting is what they call it these days these young people you know really trying to reach out so eight of wands let me see the two of swords three of cups okay I'm seeing that they they see you as reaching out to them needing clarity so well they see some of you may have been texting this person I know it's not all of you but it's coming out that you have been reaching out this is how they're seeing you it could be vice versa but someone's been reaching out to the other person needing clarity needing to make sense of things and just waiting for a response and waiting for a response okay and the other person sees your messages or you see their messages and are rejecting them so whoever is in this devil energy like really clinging the other person is sensing it and you know the knight of wands queen of wands the emperor okay could be an aries that you're dealing with oh my god the, the justice card look at how all these people are in the chairs and we have the knight of wands some of you oh, 
this, this could this could be people involved some of you might be dealing with a stalker where you've had to get authority and a judge involved like restraining order like this this could be a cop and this could be the judge this is what these cards can usually stand for um yeah so some of you there's a situation there but this is very you know why this is confusing because i feel like your energy this is supposed to be your side this is supposed to be theirs and it's like mixed nine of cups knight of pentacles judgment ten of pentacles some of you it's a marriage definitely but there is a standstill here someone something some someone is obsessed with the other person some of you are watching this video because you need a restraining order on a stalker who is obsessed with you okay or i'm just gonna point that out because i'm seeing that for sure but that's obviously not for everyone and my phone just rang sorry so i i'm seeing basically that somebody like you may have someone who is who has a lot of feelings for you still and can't let go and feels really rejected that's where the devil energy comes in where they're really attached to you and can't let go some of you it could it could be just kind of minor others of you it could be to the point of getting authorities involved okay but for those of you not dealing with such a situation i do feel like your person you could just be dealing with someone who feels rejected for some reason okay four of wands seven of cups the tower king of cups ace of swords some of you might meet somebody if if this is a stalker situation and you're getting rid of this person there could be someone new coming in because I, I see that with the four of wands stability and with the king of cups this could be a new person coming in and since it's beside the tower it could be surprising like you didn't expect for someone new to come into your life but i'm seeing the seven of the seven of cups though does connect with someone who's dealing with a person who is obsessing and quite delusional not all of you are dealing with that person but somebody is because it's coming out okay but let me see what we have with the oracle cards so we can get some messages playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Wedding, the situation involves marriage, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moment. Some of you, again, could be married. Somebody does not want to get a divorce, but, and someone, you know, they want, that honeymoon phase again so if you're dealing with someone who is stalking you they could have been sending you a lot of text messages you know so that mean that would mean it's vice versa for you but then you know forgiving and learning I just see somebody who's very like who just cannot let go You know, I just see that. But I just see somebody new coming in for you. To be, to be totally honest. Let's 
see what else we have. Wow. <laughs> Balls in my lap. Okay. Messages for Pisces. The answers you need are coming. Like, I need answers too about this. This is a lot. Adjustments are required. That card rarely comes out. That card just rarely, I think it's the first time I've seen that card. So, um, adjustments are required. Again, I feel like that connects with someone who's dealing with somebody who is too much, you know, stalking. You, you're needing to make adjustments in your life because of them, because they can't let go. I feel like you're going to eventually get back to stability, though, in your life, if you're dealing with that. But as for use that who are dealing with a normal situation i just feel like and again with this with this six of pentacles the person who's obsessing they could feel like you they're just like watching you give other people attention and they're supposed to be moving on but they're not you know they're just stalking so that's what that's what I'm seeing. Like mainly, it's mainly a stalker situation. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sense of it, but it's just right in my face. There's there's someone who is texting you ridiculously. They're watching you. They feel rejected. I feel like they step out and just boldly reach out to you. No pride. No nothing. And you are trying to get help. Some of you are trying to get help or just to escape the situation. That nine of wands here. And also protecting yourself with the four of wands, four of pentacles. Okay, so the main signs I have here. What am I talking about? <laughs> we have Libra Aries. We have Scorpio, we definitely have Capricorn, Gemini, okay. trust, take action, reconsider, not the right time and the situation will improve. I do see that connecting with the adjustments are required card. Letting you know that things are going to change and shift. We do have the tower here as well. So that does indicate change. I feel like if you feel unstable, having someone make you feel uncomfortable, that stability will be restored, you know. You'll get back to your normal life. But there is definitely someone on your case. And if it's, a, if it's not this type of situation, your person just feels rejected, which is making them kind of obsessed or become more attached to you. If they're not stalking, if it's just like a situation like this, you know, the person's just coming, becoming more and more attached. Okay, so Pisces, these are the messages I have for you. Check your moon, Venus, and rising if the messages didn't quite resonate or if you'd like to know what else is coming. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.